was able to bring us some yummy Malaysian treats. It's Minecraft! It's Minecraft! <laughs> Good morning. So Peter is um, busy whipping up some pancakes. <laughs> These are now internationally known. Elaine trusted Peter enough in the kitchen. Elaine let us know that they don't usually have um, syrup with their pancakes. Uh, the way that they do it is to do bacon with ketchup on top of the pancake. And it's actually really good. All right, so using the uh, Gas one, so you have to like light it with this. Esther help with that, because we're not used to that. <laughs> Hope it doesn't burn. We are introducing um, them to chocolate chip pancakes, because this is their first time. So, let's get their reaction to trying chocolate chip pancakes. <laughs> yeah! Isn't really good. Especially with the peanut butter. Oh, yeah. That's where it's at. Peanut yeah, butter and awesome. chocolate. You guys already do the peanut butter. Because a lot oh, of people yeah. don't do that. A lot of people think it's weird to put peanut butter in pancakes. It's so good. Really good. Can you even taste the chocolate? <laughs> what exactly? What a bit too you, much peanut butter. Yeah. It's pretty good, though, right? Oh. <laughs> Peter is jamming out to some tunes and he's sitting on the ball. <laughs> he's sitting on the bouncy ball. Let's get work done. Maybe we need to get one of those when I we get home. I actually had one. I don't know if I still have it or not. It was in my closet in the box. Like, you bought it but never inflated it? Just think an American collecting too much stuff and not even so using yeah, I it. Know if, I don't know if I sold it if I still have it, but it's just great. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, we're, I mean, we're both Americans. I just, just the things that you realize when you're traveling. Like, we got rid of so much before we came on this one year around the world trip. Uh, the, our only belongings are left in a five by 10 storage unit. And the stuff that we're carrying with us now in our 35 liter backpack and a tech bag. So then you realize, okay, what do I actually like need? And Simplify is it's so awesome. Um, I wouldn't go as so far as to say that we're minimalists um, because I do like you know some nice things every once in a while. Like I love I love earrings and um, I do like to have different pairs of those. So I think just to realize like what do you actually like enjoy and like to have maybe some things like that, but not not an abundant amount of things. Like Peter just said, apparently we had a bouncy ball in his closet that he bought and never even blew it up. I think when we get back to the States, like my, I'm gonna have to be careful because I think my tendency is gonna be like, ooh, okay, we have a house now because our plan is to buy a house. <gasps> fill it up, fill it up. Kimmy went out this morning to get a laptop fixed and uh, was able to bring us some yummy Malaysian treats. I love it. Okay, so this is mixed fruit and then this is. And then this is hikama with some kind of sauce and peanuts. Okay, and, and that. This is called kodondo. <laughs> Say what? <laughs> Kadong dong. <laughs> I love it just because of the name. Yeah, that's so anyway, nice. And then it has, um, I think, sour plum powder. Sour okay. Plum powder sauce on it. Nice. Yeah, oh, man. Can we got us another Malaysian treat to try? And it's durian. It's a durian puff, which we kept seeing these yesterday, oh. and like, they smell. Like, does that smell up? Is that not too bad? Still has a distinct smell to it. All right, Peter, how's it taste? This is the way to eat it, I think, and try it in like a puff form, so it's not so it's overwhelming. A mild, form. Yeah, that's that's Because when I good. smelled it, yeah? it didn't smell very strong, so no. it can't be very durian. There's so much sugar and other <laughs> good stuff in there. So it's okay. Yeah. You know what? You might be durian like this then. I don't know. Let me just wait. Let me take just a little blob off here. <laughs> yeah, see how, yeah, see that strong, that, that tastes pretty strong to me, actually. Oh, that's pretty strong. Really? Mm -hmm. That tastes pretty strong. 
That means you guys might actually like Jurgen. I'm she not a fan of it. Like yeah. How about you lick my finger too? Cause that's that's strong stuff. I don't want to lick that. With shrimp. Okay. You might be made from Malaysia. <laughs> I think because I smelled it yesterday, it just, it just smells a little foul. Yeah, but if you get yeah. over the smell, <laughs> it actually looks horrible. Right, but... but... There are some that smell like watermelon. Really? Peter, you probably... Kinda. You have a stuffy nose right now, probably. I don't. No? Why do I have a stuffy nose? I don't know, because you like the smell. <laughs> I just said if you ignore the smell, if you ignore the smell, it's not bad. Right, but it's hard to ignore a smell. I don't know. <laughs> So today I just got lots of work done and now we are prepping for our hike tomorrow. We're gonna go on a long hike through the woods and uh, we're excited because we're getting our food that we're gonna carry in and have like a barbecue up there. So Peter is chopping away. <laughs> okay, I'm trying to film you, but like you look a little scary. You gotta pose through the camera so I can actually grab that frame. Make it easy for you. They just kept like taking uh, the GoPro from us and we had a lot of different filmmakers tonight help us make that pool special so that was really cool and we are looking forward tomorrow to go on a hike it should be lots of fun so stay tuned and um, if you are subscribed thank you so much if you like the video give it a thumbs up comment and if you are not subscribed already go ahead and hit that subscribe button and we'll see you in the next video Peter has a creamy. You don't, want the, you don't want the chunky? There you go. That is good. <laughs> oh my goodness, you are globbing that on. Wait, wait, wait. Am I taking a video of you or me?
All light the way.